questions about your pet at Live in the D, you can ask a vet. And we are joined by Dr. Kelly Myers, a veterinarian at the Animal Care Center at our partner, the Michigan Humane Society. Thanks for being here, Doc. Oh yeah, thanks for having me. Now a lot of people bring their pets along when they travel, whether that means the road trip in the car or a sky kennel. Um, I'm sure there's no end to the, the advice that you could give. Absolutely, this is a topic we could talk about for days, so for sure. I think the first thing you really need to do when you're looking at traveling is really be prepared. So take some time um, because you're gonna need vaccines, you're gonna need a health certificate. There's lots of different things that you're gonna need for sure. All right, so what about traveling in a car versus traveling in a plane? How should we plan for those? Yeah, actually, um, there's a, a law that a lot of people don't know about, and that's that you need a health certificate to leave the state with your pet. Um, pets traveling across state lines, across country lines, need a health certificate um, in order to do that. So the first thing you want to do is um, schedule an appointment with your veterinarian. The other thing when traveling in a car um, is you need to make sure safety. Safety is first. And we... We don't do a very good job of restraining our pets inside the car and so many times they're they're running about and that can be distracting for the driver it can be really bad for the pet if you were ever to get in an accident so we really recommend a, their safety belts for dogs um, if you can get them used to that the other thing is to um, confine them in a kennel um, and then make sure to uh, attach that kennel either with a seat belt or, or some kind of um, bungee cord to make sure that that's safe for the pet so if you were ever to stop quick that pet's safe Okay. And we see the dogs hanging out the car windows all the time. I mean, that's it's it's fun for them. It's cute, but it's also dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. It can be very dangerous, especially if you stop quick um, at a stoplight or someone rear ends you. Um, it, it could be very dangerous for them. Okay, so basically, don't let your dogs hang out no. the window. Unfortunately, yeah. it's right. really cute, but it's but really no. not safe for them. Okay. It's kind of like letting your child hang out the window. Kind not of a good idea. We wouldn't recommend doing. <laughs> Jason's oh. eyes just <laughs> <laughs> popped out of his head. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Do you write prescriptions for people who have flying anxiety to have their dog on the plane with them? <laughs> yeah, not for people, but for pets. So um, pets do get car sick. Actually, we we're just talking about cars. So um, Dramamine is also safe for pets. You'd want to make sure to call your veterinarian because the dose is very different for a dog mm -hmm. um, than, than for a person. Um, but yeah, dogs get anxiety when they travel. Um, but we don't usually do heavy sedation with pets when they travel because there's no veterinarians around to help mm -hmm. um, if something were to go wrong. So we just generally do. Um, there are some medications that we can do, but definitely work with your veterinarian. All right, so now we have a couple of questions from some pet owners. Now this yeah. question is from Rachel. This is the family Corgi. Sybil is a, uh, who is showing signs of jealousy around her two-year-old niece. Is this a concern? Yeah, so dogs are pack animals, and so they respond to people and food and other dogs just like a, a dog would in a pack. Mm. And so we think sometimes um, the behavior that they're showing is jealousy, but it's just how they're responding to, to the other person, right? Mm. And a two-year-old moves quickly. Um, that can be scary for a, for a dog. And so we recommend that you um, go to the veterinarian um, with the dog, but it sounds to me like the dog is showing some signs of uh, aggression towards that child and, and Sounds like it's early sign, so probably okay, but definitely should work with the veterinarian because it could get it could get really serious. Yeah. All right. Our next question is from Michelle. Uh, her dog Benny tends to eat grass. I mean, it's not always indicative of upset stomach, is it? It actually isn't. So dogs wow. are omnivores, so they eat both meat and plants. And so them grazing on a little bit of grass is actually natural behavior. Hmm. Um, and so don't be too concerned. Um, there's lots of different theories around why they do it. Um, it tastes good. It's fresh, it's crunchy, um, all of those different reasons. Sometimes it's because they're hungry and so it happens to be out in the yard when they're out there playing. Um, and so there's lots of different reasons that aren't upsetting, but if you see that they're throwing up, usually that's what happens when they eat grass, then there might be something more serious going on and you should call your veterinarian. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. We got one myth down. So yeah. the Michigan Humane Society offers veterinary service at three locations, Detroit, Westland, and Rochester Hills. For more information, visit their website, michiganhumane.org. If you want to ask a question about your pet, send a cute photo like the one we had of Benny mm -hmm. uh, to our Live in the D Facebook page, and we might answer your questions right here on the show. I think Benny should make an encore appearance before the end of the program yeah, today. Benny was a cutie pet. He's a, a her. <laughs> 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 I love that. Next on Live.